Try not to take a deep breath. If you breathe the air for too long in the village of Gurj or Tao, it may make you ill, and it may even end up killing you. One of the things you notice here is that there is almost no wind in this village. And that means that the pollution from the nearby mines and factories simply rises into the air and then it stays put. A lot of people live on houses along lanes like this one. And as you can see, there are almost no plants and no flowers. People here say that it's very difficult to grow anything with all the pollution. Yes, On my first night here, I joined the men of the Wandamung family for dinner. They try to wash away the taste of pollution with some weak soup. They tell me they've been abandoned. Their own village leaders left long ago in search of better air. No one cares about us, says Zhang Xianjing. Our leaders live in the city where it's cleaner. But we don't have any money, so we have to stay here. The next morning, the sky settles into a kind of orange haze. We're told this is what a good day looks like in Gurjou To. The villagers take us to see someone suffering from the bad air. Zheng Mingzhe has lung disease. He can barely move. He has to be spoon-fed by his wife. The air is so bad, she says. On winter days like this, he can't go out, he gets worse, and he just can't breathe. Before dawn, on our third day here, we wait outside the village school for classes to begin. It's minus 10 degrees, and the sky is full of smog. get straight into their lesson as noisily as they can. No one here has a clean face. In this village, you get grubby and you stay grubby. Outside the classroom, the school's slide is too filthy to use. Above the playground, you can see the red flag of China covered in grime.